by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you layer comps. Layer comps stores information such as position, visibility, and a layer style. Sadly, it doesn't include things like scaling, rotation, as well as filter effects. Now, it would be nice if it did. Anyway, so the first thing to do, I've just got some shapes here, and these ones are from Graphic Extras, they're flower shape designs, and they're shape layers. So what you can do, just first thing to do here is shape three, shape two, shape one. I've got over here layer comps, so it's window and layer comps. And I want to store the current position of all those shapes. So I'm now just quickly go new layer comp. And the key thing here is that all these are set. If you want to, of course, store the appearance information or position. If you don't, it doesn't really make any difference. So you might, by default, it often comes up with visibility. So just click all those, make certain they're on if you want to use them all. Click OK. Now, you could change the name. I often do change the name, but you can, of course, just go for layer comp one for this tutorial purposes anyway. I'll just keep it that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move that one around there, and I'm just going to move that, so I don't position it there. Now I'm going to stay, store that, new layer comp, so they're all in line, visibility, position, etc. Now another thing, like I say, visibility, so just go over to the layers, and you can modify the opacity, so just reduce that down a bit. Now that doesn't modify this, this layer comp. But what it will do is I'm just going to quickly create a new layer comp with again visibility. So click OK. Now that information is stored there. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to create another design. So I'm just going to quickly go to the custom shape, another layer, and I'm going to select that one there. Okay, just select that. And now I'm just going to store this layer comp with this new design. I'm not going to move anything else and not change anything else and then a new layer comp and again visibility position appearance click ok next thing to do i'm just going to add a layer style but i'm just going to do it over here now i'm using cc 2015 and there's quite a few additions there so a layer layer style and i'm just going to go for drop shadow and you see drop shadow now in this version there's multiple drop shadows so you just click there I'm just going to go click that then, like I said, just move that around and just position it there. Click OK. Right. Now, what I want to do is I'm just going to quickly store that layer comp, new layer comp. Now, what I can do, I can quickly run through these layer comps. I'm just going to quickly go through this one. So just click there, layer comp, that was the first one, layer comp. That was one where they're all line. Layer comp, that was the one with the opacity. You could just suddenly see that just suddenly reduces. Layer comp. Now, this one introduces the other shape. So if you just go back, it just disappears again, reappears. And layer comp, last one, is the one with the style. So now, of course, what you can do then, you can also run through them very quickly just by going apply it next and just quickly run through like that or go backwards previously so you can quickly demonstrate a whole range of different designs so maybe like might be a website page or something you maybe have different designs in different layouts you want to demonstrate to someone all in one single doc instead of opening separate documents you can just quickly run through these layer comps and of course you can update the layer so you can actually just go there but now using this one i'm going on this layer comp here so what I want to do is just quickly move that down. I'm just going to move it over here. And then just go, whoops, update layer comp. So I want to update layer comp. Now, just go back now to the other one. So I'll just go up there. And you can see there, layer comp. And then this one. And you can see now it's been updated, so it's actually got it moved. So you just go layer four, layer four. so it's been moved down, right? So you can also do there's various options, other options, update layer comp along here as well, and as well as update position, etc. Selected layer, update appearance of selected layer comps and layers. Now, 
I'm not actually going to use run through those, but I'm just going to just click update layer, layer comp. So if I move that, say there, update layer comp. Now I'll just go back there. You can see it's actually been reflected and moved to that correct position. Right. Anyway, that's a quick run through of most of the features of layer comps. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.